Hello, my name is Darren Thomas. I'm the Director of Educational Research Techniques. In this video, we're going to take a, a further look at LaTeX, and we're going to learn specifically today how to make your own commands. They're also called macros inside LaTeX. So, if you're familiar with other software, you know, I know that like, for example, Microsoft Excel and Microsoft Word and even other softwares have things called macros or commands that you can make. The purpose of these is to kind of have some pre-written code that has the software or has, in our example, LaTeX do something specifically um, repeatedly. Um, you make macros or you make commands like as, as they're called in LaTeX primarily for the reason to save time. If you're having to do something over and over and over and over again, you can automate it by using your macro or again, like I said, in LaTeX, your command. Uh, another analogy that you might want to use is um, if you're familiar with other programming languages, they're often called functions or methods and other pieces of code. And they're reusable pieces of code that you don't have to keep coding every single time. So for our example in LaTeX, we're going to learn how to automatically um, take a command that serves as an abbreviation for a longer word. In other words, you type in this command we're going to make and it will automatically create or print out the longer version of it. So we're going to go ahead and set up our document. So I'm already inside my tech work. So I always begin with my document class right here. I'm going to type in article for our example here. And we don't need any packages or anything. So we're essentially done with the preamble. It was, but there is one more thing we have to do. We have to make our command or our macro, if you will. And so we need to use the declaration called new command. So I use my forward slash again, new command. And I need to tell LaTeX exactly what I wanted to do. So in the next box, or the next set of curly braces, I need to put in exactly what I want LaTeX to do. Or the name of the command, I should say. What is the name of the command? And so the name of our command is going to be, you know, forward slash, like always, ERT. That's what we're going to do. And now in the next set of curly braces, I have to tell LaTeX exactly what I want them to do are to do. And so in the next one, we're going to put what, what is the ERT command going to do? And we're going to use it for educational research techniques. So what we're telling LaTeX is very, very simple. Whenever you see the command slash ERT, which is right here, we need you instead to print this inside our document, educational research techniques. That's what we're doing. So with this, we are essentially done with the preamble. I have my document class called article, and now I have my new command, which is going to be forward slash ERT. And in place of that forward slash ERT is going to put educational research techniques. So I go ahead and I begin my document. This should be familiar. And I always like to immediately end my document because I have a habit of forgetting to do that. All right. And so now, between these, between lines three and five is where we're going to put our actual text. Again, this is a review for those of you who have watched other videos. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put forward slash ERT. And then after that, we need to put another slash after that. This second forward slash is going to tell um, LaTeX to make a space. That's what we're doing that for. So here we go. And so we're going to say ERT is a blog on education and research, period. That's it. And so let's see if this works. All right. And so you can see right over here, let me zoom this out for you a little bit. You can see that instead of it putting the forward slash ERT, it's actually put the words, it actually put the actual, you know, we'll be told it to. Educational Research Techniques is a blog on education and research. So that's the beauty of this. And you can see that um, it's a great way to have shortcuts. So this can save you a lot of time if you constantly have to you know, reuse a word or a phrase or anything like that. And again, um, this is just an introduction to this and you can do many, many more, uh, comp more, much more complex things. The other thing I want to mention before we conclude this video is that notice not only did it put educational research techniques, but notice how I put a space after uh, the, the last word techniques and it follows by is. 
This is from us putting this little forward slash here by itself in line number four of the code, if you can see that. By putting that forward slash there, it counts, it tells LaTeX to put a space there. Now, of course, we could have put that inside our actual command from the beginning if we really wanted to. Um, for example, I could have put it right here and it should have worked, hopefully. Let me see if that'll work. And you can see the, the advantages of this. So again, you can put it automatically, but see there's a little bit of an extra space there, a double space. So that's the beauty and the power of being able to make your own new commands. Um, in my experience, normally you don't learn how to make functions and new commands quite so early in your coding experience, but in many of the books that I've consulted in LaTeX, is one of the first things that, that they teach you is how to make your own commands. So in this particular video, we looked at how to make a new command inside LaTeX using TechWorks as their editor. And so the benefit of making a command is that it allows you to automate, you know, repetitive tasks that you have to do all the time. In our particular example, we made a new command using the new command declaration. Here, right here is what the actual command will look like. And this right here, the second part is kind of like the definition or what the command does. Um, so by doing that, you're able to take what used to be a long phrase and shrink it down to a very, very short and simple, quick little three letter um, command, if you will. And again, the primary purpose of this is to save you a lot of time in your work as a user of LaTeX. So we hope that this video was useful for you and we thank you for watching. Take care.